I'm Mario Master DT, and welcome back to Super Mario 64. Last time on Smurf 64, uh, we got a bunch of stars from, let's see, Jolly Roger Bay and Big Boo's Hot, I believe. I don't know if I ever said the name of the level, but it was Big Boo's Hot. Here we are now, back at the star door, which is the only thing we can do now that we have all the possible stars that we can get at this point in time, I think. Think. All right, I'm gonna go with yes. So, without further ado, and without further stalling, let's open the star door. Reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens. And here we are. Oh, it's our princess. Looks like. After only 37 stars, we can get the saver. Oh my god. This looks like the last part. Can't wait to. Uh oh. Wait, what a. Okay, wait. Oh! Come on, Nintendo. You can't put invisible walls there. <laughs> you stepped right into my trap. Just as I knew you would. I warn you, friend. Watch your step. Alright, so here we are. Bowser in the Dark World. Our first Bowser level. Spoiler, there are three. Now, there are red coins in this level. There is no 100 coin star, and in the 64 DS port, there is a second star in this level in the form of a Switch star, which are nowhere in this game. So we don't need to worry about that, but I do need to collect the red coins. So this part could be filled with lots of failure. But honestly, I usually do a pretty good run of this level, so I don't foresee too much going wrong. Note, there's no 100 coin star in this level. So, don't bother collecting the 100 coins. I know I've tried to do it before because. You know, I, I wasn't positive there was no. There was no uh, coin star, so I just wanted to make sure. And then I checked online when I couldn't figure it out, and, uh, you know, I realized that I'm still an idiot. <laughs> okay, so these are amps. Uh, forget if we've seen them. But, uh, they're basically shocky balls of death that you don't want to touch. So, don't do it. So basically, there's coins all around this place, just in case you get hurt, and you will get hurt. So, be careful, and also that was almost my death. Uh, okay, so there's another coin over there. I'm actually making a good time on this. It's doing great. I'm cursing myself, I know it. I love cursing. I'm challenging myself. So here, we gotta walk across this narrow little bridgey thing. Maybe plank of wood or something. Red coin number six. Wink. Gotcha. I almost ran right off the edge. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, while we're doing this, alright, so there's a lot of one-ups around this level, because it is not that easy, in my opinion, but I, I don't know, I've played this level a lot, and I don't know, this is honestly, I think, one of my favorite levels, because, uh... Bowser. I, I don't know. I just this, this level has a really good atmosphere to it. I like all the Bowser levels except for the second one. The second one, I really dislike. And with that, here's our eighth red coin. So, um, I'm just curious. How are you guys liking this first, uh, first let's play in my 64 season kind of deal? I'm really enjoying it quite a bit. Um, actually, oh god, I thought I just fell off. Uh, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Uh, this is actually, I'm recording this series, uh, this recording session is actually taking place right after my previous one. So this is actually, I think, the first time I've recorded twice in two days. Uh, two times in two days. So, there we are. <coughs> so, this counts as a secret star, so we can save right here. Or say it's like the 100 coin star. But, um, you know, I'm re I've really been keeping faithful with this one, because I'm really having a lot of fun. And, uh... So I record in bulk, so I'll record for like 30, 40 minutes at a time, and then I'll uh, split it up into multiple parts. But without further ado, let's jump in this pipe and confront our boss. Not our boss, like the boss. Like, Alright, I'll shut up. Tough luck, Mario. Princess Toadstool isn't here. <laughs> Go ahead, just try to grab me by the tail. You'll never be able to swing me around. A wimp like you wouldn't, won't throw me out of here. Never. Ha! <laughs> All right, so Bowser is pissed, but we can still grab him by the tail, like he said we probably shouldn't. And let's see if this ends really quickly. Okay, well it's over. Um, 
Grr, I was a bit careless. This is not as a, not as I had planned. But I still hold the power of the stars, and I still have Peach. <laughs> You'll get no more stars from me. I'm not finished with you yet, but I'll let you go for now. You'll pay for this later. Alright, so what just happened there was, um... You're supposed to defeat Bowser by taking him by the tail with the B button, and then swinging him around with the control stick in a circle, and throwing him in a line, and I got really lucky and hit it on the first try. I'm not usually that good at that. But for defeating Bowser this time, we did not get a star. We got a key. So, we can save and continue. And now that we have the key, we can go to a new area in the castle. So that is fantabulous. Awesome, I guess. So let's see, what can we do now? We still don't have access to anything in the other levels, but we can take a detour down here. So the key we have does not go to either door, it only goes to the basement door. So, here we are, heading to my not-so-favorite levels. <laughs> but uh, I'll pull through, because I hope you guys are enjoying this, and I know I am. So I'm pretty sure we can open this right now, but I don't think I'm going to, because I'm going to do the courses in... Uh, sort of the order that I should. Alright, so Toad down here. Sup? Wow! You already recovered that many stars? Way to go, Mario! I bet you'll have us out of here in no time. Be careful, though. Bowser and his band wrote the book on bad. Take my advice. When you need to recover from injuries, just collect coins. Yellow coins refill one piece of power meter. Red coins refill two pieces, and the blue coins refill five. To make blue coins appear, pound on blue coin blocks. Also, if you fall from high places, you'll minimize damage if you pound the ground as you land. Ugh. Toad. Annoying character, even more annoying to voice. And I don't have to voice him, but I love doing so. Alright, so this is a rabbit. Catch the rabbit. Do it. Do it. Just do it. No questions asked. If I could dive real quick, that'd be nice. Um. Ah, shoot. Alright, let's see if I can get him here. Shoot. Okay. Let's... Ah, freaking! All right, so this rabbit is Mips. I'm not sure if it's ever um just blatantly stated. But the, the character's name is Mips. Uh, he's a baby rabbit, and it's sort of like if you've played 64 DS, it's it's just like catching those rabbits. Yow! Unhand me, brute! I'm I'm late, so late. I must make haste. This shiny thing? Mine. It's mine. Finders keepers. Losers. Late, late, late. Ouch! Take it then. A gift from Bowser it was. Now, let me be. I have a date. I cannot be late for tea. So that was a obvious reference to Alice in Wonderland's White Rabbit. Uh, so you let go of the bunny, except in this version, he does not give you a key for the minigame room, because there's none of that crap in this game. You get a secret star, which is fantastic. Wow, another Pario. Power Pario star. The Pario star! Wahoo! <laughs> All right, then you can re-pick up the rabbit if you want, and you can even do some crazy glitches with it, like, that I don't know how to do, like, phasing through the wall and, like, just giving a bunch of stuff, but, uh, I'll just leave him here for now. I think this is our next painting to get into. So, without further ado, here is Lethal Lava Land. All right, level star mission number one. Boil the big bull. I think we're in the correct course. Don't be a pushover. If anyone tries to shove you around, push back. It's one on one with a fiery finish for the loser. All right, it's crazy. Okay, so boil the big bully, and then over there we see an eye guy. Which I'm not gonna mess with right now. So these new enemies are bullies. They will push you around quite literally, just like the actual um, thing they're named after. But uh, basically, all you gotta do is push them into the lava, just like that message was saying, by punching them, or jumping on them, or grabbing them. That was a weird speed boost there. Uh, all you gotta do is push them around, quite literally, and push them right into the lava, and they'll explode and give you a coin. Now, this level, as you might be able to tell, Lethal Lava Land. It's lethal, first of all, and there's lava everywhere, and I wonder if I can be sneaky here. Oh, I totally can be sneaky. I'm totally gonna die. Alright, nope, I'm good. Almost full health, too. Alright, so this is where we need to be. Boil the big bully. 
So that was nice. I like taking shortcuts, but uh, I don't know. I should probably show you the real route, too. Okay, so we push that big bully. All you ought to do is the same thing with the smaller ones, except this one's bigger. And there we go. We have this new pathway and a star. And my head are correct. Here we go! Oh, why? But whatever. Don't really care. All right, boil the bully. The big bully. 40 stars at our disposal, and back in we go. <coughs> Alright, two, boil the bullies. Or, bully the bullies. That makes sense. Cool. That makes more sense. So, for this one, we're going a slightly different route. Pretty much the same place. A little bit to the side. Okay. The right side to be specific. And pain. There's the lava. So the lava will deal you damage, quite a lot of damage, and you'll bounce off of it. If you can't get to land, you'll keep bouncing the lava, and you will die if you hit the lava three times. Just because that's your power meter. That's all you get. So let's hope this thing comes over here. It's not going to come over. Okay, I thought I was in the middle, but okay. And my headphones seems to crackle whenever I hit the lava, so I'm going to try not to do that. <laughs> but, uh, no promises. Alright, so I don't want to wait for that platform. So we'll just get up here like that. So I have to admit, I do have a lot, I usually have a lot more trouble with these missions. I don't know. It's not that I... Okay. I think it's just any sound now. My headphone, my headset might be going. But, uh... I do have trouble with this usually. Especially with these three small ones. Because there are... No pushover. Pun entirely intended. Um... Okay, I got one. There, once you kill them, once you start killing them, it's a lot easier. I think I would make, I would kind of compare this to, um, if you know Mario Sunshine, the mission where you have to pound the, uh, the mirrors in Gelato Beach, where there's the one mirror with the three, I don't know what, duckbill things? I don't think they're cataquacks, though. The cataquacks are the ones that flip you, and these ones don't have beaks. And I'm gonna die? Oh god, okay. But, um, so the, the one where you have to do that, it's like it's easy, it's always easier if you manage to get one or two of them off the mirror first. So after all the small bullies get killed, the big one comes out, then you get your star. So it's basically the same mission again. I'm really hoping you can't hear that crackling, because that's really irritating. But uh, here we go with another star, and with a mission kind of like Mario Sunshine, let's continue on. Here we go! Here we go! Alrighty, save and continue, and we're on our way again. And I am going out of sync for some reason. Why is that? Weird? Alright, I'll be right back. Something weird's going on.